All right, so there you are. Mm -hmm. Today it's gonna be a hectic day for everybody, especially to my students. Why? Because in a few days they are going to have their. All right, the final defense in practical research. All right. So I know that uh, my students have been preparing for this for a long time. And uh, I know also that they are so tired or exhausted in the, the process of doing this. And uh, now we have come up to the final stage of this process, which is the final defense. I know you are so excited because uh, for how many days, if we are going to count uh, days, there are only a few days left okay, before you're moving up. Okay. All right, so for those who do not know me, I am uh, Mr. Vicente Rivalta from the Smyrna's West Nassau High School. Uh, my students call me Sir Vincent. Mm -hmm. I love being called Sir Vincent or Sir Bonnie <laughs> because my favorite song is uh, My Bonnie. But anyway, I teach English subject in grade 10 and uh, writing research paper is one of my uh, requirements to my students in order for them to pass the subject. All right, so my students are in the following sections we have from my advisory class which is uh, the Tindalo. Hi Tindalo! Okay, uh, I also have uh, Tenyakal. I also have another one which are or which is uh, uh, the Ten Talisay and the last one my last period uh, class in each day when uh, whenever I report in uh, school so we also have this uh, ten tangile that's so sweet and uh, well anyway so fun when I when I uh, go to the section and have my class with them the class is uh, very exciting and uh, so funny <laughs> anyway hmm so my dear students, I hope you are going to watch this video tutorial and uh, try to practice answering the questions in it based from um, the result of your study. So remember this, that this is the last bullet you're gonna have, so give it your best. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the following are the top 31 academic research final defense questions that uh, you are going to encounter during your final defense. You may use this guide to assess yourself to see if you are actually ready for your research defense. Okay, so I hope you are now ready. I hope you are now going to or you're going to give your best. Uh -huh. I am going to give you the 31 questions and tips on how to answer them and please do your job okay so you can have a good grade before you are going to transfer to another school my dear students okay so let's begin with the first question so let's keep moving okay now let's have the first question all right so what is your research about so if you notice this question is uh is something like a very basic question okay so but don't take it so lightly because uh, it might have a, a follow-up question or questions based from this uh, basic question so you will be asked to explain to the panelists in few sentences what your research is all about. So to answer this question, all you have to do is uh, all you have to do is uh, uh, to give them the summary of your research. Okay, at this stage, your abstract your abstract is your friend. So try to memorize your abstract. Try to familiarize yourself with your abstract of your research paper because your abstract does something or everything about your research paper about the results okay so that is uh, the question number one okay so let's uh, move on to the next one what do you think is the next one okay question number two why did you decide to undertake this specific research 
Okay, this academic research or research project defense question can can be extremely complicated and it goes a long way to persuade the board or the uh, panelist that you have done a relevant study. So, of course, what is uh, your reason or your purpose why did you choose this research topic okay so all you have to do is to focus on the research problem you should explain why there is a need for you to conduct a study on that topic so of course you have done the backgrounding of your paper of your research topic try also to mention those uh, statement of the problems or statement statement of the problem questions okay that are in there so basically they are three questions you try to mention all of them and then uh, try to make some uh, good explanations okay all right so let's proceed to number three okay number three states what are the motivations for your research okay in this question uh, of course you chose the topic is because you are motivated to do so Okay, so being motivated by solving an existing problem to embark on this research, you have chosen it. Okay, you could be motivated by the end or by the need to contribute to the body of knowledge in the field, and you could also be motivated by professional curiosity. So maybe you were asking yourselves, okay, uh, there are questions in your mind that you want to uh, that you wanted to uh, have answer so you wanted it to do it yourselves in order for you for you to find uh, the answer so that is what we call curiosity okay hmm. okay now let's move on to the next one to the next question question number four what is the problem you have tackled worth tackling oh it's something like confusing okay what is the problem you have tackled worth tackling mm -hmm. not all of the not all of the contents of your research uh, paper is worth tackling so what do you think is that worth tackling uh, 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 what to call this one uh, problem okay so not all research uh, researchable problems are worth tackling so with a full academic study please note okay so note those uh, uh, worth okay worth what they call that one worth tackling notes or discussions with your uh, with your group mates and uh, try to uh, share it also to the panelists okay you should be able to identify the problem being tackled as relevant enough to warrant the con conduct of an academic investigation into its purpose so of course uh, you can make it uh, worth tackling if you if you can uh, relate it into our real life okay of course all of your research topic are of course life relevant uh, issues are in there so I hope you can give the correct answer to this one okay now let's move on to number four what are the main aims or questions or the hypothesis okay so these three aims question the hypothesis they are so much related with each other not all researchable problems are worth tackling with a full academic study so be aware okay so that's it so what are your predictions what are you what are your predicted uh, solutions now when you have already interpreted those uh, results when you have when you have already analyzed those results okay do you have the same uh, result to your prediction so try to make some uh, or let's say you may also compare it with the objective of of uh, of your paper okay and you may also uh, refer also with your statement of the problem questions are they answered okay positive or negative so it depends on the result so try to go over the result again 
Next, let's move on to the next question. All right, so how will this study contribute to the body of knowledge? Mm -hmm. So you are required to justify how your study will add to the existing body of knowledge. So how is it done? This is the part where your method comes uh, contextual analysis or any special mo uh, model or conceptual framework that was utilized as part of the uh, investigation that should be used to defend it okay so again these are terminologies of research that uh, of course uh, you're going to, you that you have uh, gone through so i know you knew all of these uh, uh, terminologies and uh, i know also that uh, uh, of course whenever you encounter them again in your next schooling okay in uh, senior high school i know you know all of this already okay so of course these are terms that uh, are very important in the your uh, in the process of uh, research papering or research paper all right next one uh, what is the significance of the study mm, this is very important because uh, your your the panelists will be asking you what is the significance or the importance of the study okay can we have can we be advantageous in this or what what advantage can we can we get from this uh, this study okay so you should explain the significance of your research okay to answer this question you should explain how your study will help the school okay the students of course the future researchers who may wish to conduct research on the same topic or of course in your topic that is uh, related to the topic also okay next number seven or number eight we have did you bridge any gap from your study so you must use your academic research project to solve an existing problem now what is that problem so you are going to bridge that gap okay so there is a problem and you must have to solve the problem in order for you to uh, bridge the gap at this stage you must define the issues that your research was conducted to approach you must identify existing knowledge gap or gaps in your research okay next number nine question what limitations did you encounter okay now to answer this question you should be watchful in uh, uh, with words as you may uh, ensnare yourself try not to talk about the limitations in your in your data okay analysis procedures as they may infer that your examination might be one-sided or not well researched okay so don't focus on that on that side or on that uh, viewpoint instead use a straightforward and more obvious limitations like the issues encountered joining uh, addresses and tasks as opposed to restricting your investigator for example okay you want to okay you want to uh, dig deeper in that uh, in that uh, study but there are limitations because they think you're only students okay they think especially those in authorities because I uh, I encountered one one of my students said are you really sure that you wanted to have this research topic are you really sure that you can do this okay so there was one uh, <laughs> okay this is all a secret <laughs> okay so there, there was one uh, who asked them and doubted them if they can uh, if they can uh, really uh, have this research okay well, anyway that is a challenge for them so I told my students to uh, uh, to do to, to prove that they can do it <laughs> well anyway that's my job as a teacher okay next number 10 okay what are the principal findings of the uh, of this research project okay so this is the most important thing that's why we have this research okay activity so again <coughs> research is also a study so you're going to study <coughs> the result <coughs> excuse me 
it is very important that you link the outcome of, uh, of your study to, to your research question to avoid veering out of point okay or turning out of point so you must be relative enough okay connect your findings to your research or goals and questions always this will make uh, the board to effectively or the panelists to effectively be carried along that's very important and you must know that okay <coughs> sorry okay so I'm gonna cut this um, this video tutorial because um, uh, it consumed uh, almost 15 minutes already so this is the part one of uh, this video tutorial so I'm making this uh, tutorial into three parts okay <coughs> oh, sorry okay so watch out the uh, second part and the third part of this video tutorial okay see you again bye bye